Hey everybody, and welcome back to another fun week on the Star Voyager. I'm glad you're all here. Now let's jump up and let's get ready to sing some worship. Check it out. Before we took off from cinemas, I had to catch one last movie, and it was in 3D. You guys may have heard of it or seen it for yourself. It was this little movie called Star Wars. So anyways, when I put these glasses on, I was suddenly reminded of the time that I went to see my childhood hero, Buzz Lightyear, in his first 3D movie, whatever the name of it was. What was it? Uh, what was, but, but what was, what movie was Buzz in? I just, I remember, what, 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 oh, Toy Story, duh, okay. Now, I know what you guys are probably thinking. How does he remember any of that? I gotta admit, I surprised myself, but these glasses totally jogged my memory. I remember every detail about that movie, and it was light years before the identity crisis swept away the galaxy. You guys, maybe the side effects of the supernova are wearing off. We are getting our memories back. <laughs> yes. Tara, provide news updates. Gathering news information now. Greetings, Galaxy. I'm Luna Bebelgog with GBC News. Recent reports show little improvement in the search for an antidote regarding the identity crisis that swept through the galaxy nearly six weeks ago. The spokesman for the Center of Universal Behaviors says that most species are still experiencing severe memory loss and confusion about who they truly are. Doctors encourage those showing symptoms to actively pursue their true identities. Here's Jerry Jupiter with more information. Thank you, Luna. Medical professionals have warned that symptoms to actively pursuing true identity include, but are not limited to, dry mouth, watery eyelids, itchy ankles, temporary tooth loss, excessive belly button lint, abdominal discomfort, low-grade fever, and occasional passing of gas. Back to you, Luna. Wow, Jerry, that's quite a list of side effects. As always, we'll continue to keep you informed of the latest updates on the crisis. Signing off, Luna Bebelgog, GBC News. And here's a word from our sponsors. 
Hey Space Crew, Billy Mars here with another great product from Outer Limits Space Company. Having a hard time remembering who you really are? Or where you came from? Can't even remember your name? Well then you need to take a crunch 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 into the all new Cosmic Crunchies. Cosmic Crunchies are the only way to remember who you really are. And they taste great too. The magic is in the scientific formula that creates a real living thing in your stomach that can tell you who you are. Just crunch, 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 and then the creature comes to life. Once living inside of you, it can find out everything about you that you can't remember. So don't just sit around wasting time. Find out your true identity. Order now by calling 1-800-CRUNCH-CRUNCH-CRUNCH. That's 1-800-CRUNCH-CRUNCH-CRUNCH. Get your Cosmic Crunchies today. Well, maybe remembering that movie from my childhood was just a coincidence. But hey, I've seen those Cosmic Crunchies around here somewhere. <sighs> oh, okay, yeah, they're over there. Do you guys really think that if I eat it, it will make this creature grow inside of me that will tell me who I really am and why I'm on this mission? <sighs> I don't know. This seems kind of sketch. I don't think I want to do that. Let's just go ahead and skip this part. There just has to be a way for all of us to figure out who we are and hear the story of what we're doing on the Star Voyager. <sighs> I wish there was a log in my travels like the one that I found about Commander Nash. Hey, maybe there is. That's it. You know what I need? Just like the last commander of Star Voyager kept a log of everything he did on board, I need my commander's log. I must have kept one, right? Now the question is, where did I keep it? I bet it's in a secure system somewhere, or it's got to be in a digital format on the mainframe system. Okay, um, Tara, hey girl. <laughs> Tara, find my captain's log. Searching database for captain's log. 1,400 files found. To unlock files, please scan identification card. Dude, all this time I had that many files about my past as the commander and I didn't even know it? <laughs> Finally, we'll be able to piece together the mission based on the log entries. Consider this mystery <laughs> solved. I think it's time for a, you guessed it, victory dance. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. Okay, I'll unlock the files and wait, um, we're, you know, uh, actually that's, that's a negative. Uh, we're not good to go because I don't have an identification card. Um, maybe it's around here somewhere, hidden the compartment. <sighs> Why don't I have a companion droid that acts as my assistant and keeps up with all of these things like my identification card? <sighs> Every commander needs one of those, right? Maybe there's a key Oh, in one of my pockets or something that can help me figure out what is, what, what is this? A dollar bill? <laughs> oh gosh, some ancient artifact. Yeah, not important. Ugh. Oh, guys, <laughs> what is this? Okay, this says the official badge of Reese Craterton Commander, ID 7846 Galacticum Federation. No escort required. Mwah, jackpot. Let's scan this. Processing identification. Accepted. Pulling entry <laughs> 1400. Day 114 of mission. Successfully invented slime blasters in preparation for Empire Strike. We'll test with droids tomorrow. In addition, main lightsaber from pod 075 of Volticon Army now in my possession. What? Stealing a lightsaber and inventing slime blasters for a strike? I was not expecting that in my captain's log. Talk about a total bummer. A thief? That can't be right. That's not who I am, right? I'm not a thief. And sure, I might have an entire collection of lightsabers and that might look like a very legitimate reason for wondering if maybe I stole that, but <sighs> I've always just assumed that it belonged to me considering the fact that it's on my spacecraft, even though I can see over there that there is a big V over there. What does it not, if it, what happened? It, what, is it mine? Oh, wait, you know what? You know what? What if I actually did steal that from the Volticon army? I think I remember the name. Let me look at the map over here. Okay, okay, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, it's located in the very edge of the galaxy, but why would I want to steal a lightsaber from them? And why would I be planning on an Empire Strike? Am I trying to hurt people? Oh, goodness. <sighs> okay. <sighs> you know what? I'm starting to think that that commercial for Cosmic Crunchies was a total scam. They may have changed, all right, but it was not for real. The only thing that has actually changed is that it's really not helping me right now. This identity crisis has just gone into serious alert mode. You know what? DEFCON 1 is very appropriate in this situation. This can't be who I am. I'm not a thief. Tara, give me a better file, please. Pulling entry 1220. Mission code name changed. Samaritan woman, John 4. Time, noon. Location, well. Mission, Samaritan woman's primary objective to acquire H2O from local source. Upon meeting Jesus, the woman who had done many wrong things was surprised that Jesus spoke to her. He asked her for a drink. She questioned him, wondering why he would ask her for water. Jesus was a Jew, and Jews were not supposed to have anything to do with Samaritans. Jesus knew who she was and what she had done. He wanted her to know about his love for her, that she could change and that her identity wasn't defined by what she had done or how others had rejected her. Realizing the good news she was hearing, she left her jar and went to tell people in her town about this man named Jesus. The people left the town and went to meet Jesus. Many believed in him because of what the woman had told them. They realized Jesus was the one who came to save the world. Never forget, because of Jesus, I am changed. Mission 1220 complete. Whoa! That woman was just on a normal mission for water, never thinking her life would be changed for like, uh, ever. But then she met Jesus. And if I've learned anything on this search for my identity, it's that Jesus changes everything. Through our quest, we've discovered just how God created us, accepts us, and loves us. And he showed just how much he loves us by sending Jesus to pay the price for our sins. Now we can live a changed life. According to my captain's log entry, I wasn't protecting the mutant space creatures or revitalizing a civilization like I hoped I was. I was actually doing things that I am not proud of. But because I believe that Jesus is who he says he is, I have a new identity. I am changed. And that changes the decision that I make now. No matter what it takes, I vow to make things right. I've got to figure out where we're headed next. Hang on, you guys. I have an idea. Can you believe Commander Craterton was programming to destroy robots and stealing from Volticon's army? I definitely was not expecting that. Even though the captain wasn't proud of the decisions he made in his past, he knows that he's changed because of Jesus. Just like the woman met Jesus at the well and it changed her, when we decide to believe in Jesus, we are changed as well. We may not have ever stolen a lightsaber, but there may be things we've done that we aren't proud of either. The Bible tells us that we've all sinned, but Jesus took the punishment for our sin, made things right, and now we can live a changed life. He changed where we will spend forever, and He wants to change our hearts so that we'll do the good works He planned for us to do long before we were even born. That makes me think of our memory verse. Anybody remember what it says? We are God's creation. He created us to belong to Christ Jesus. Now we can do good works. Long ago, God prepared these works for us to do. That's Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. God made us to change and to start doing more and more good things. And we don't have to be afraid to change because we are His and He will help us. Now, that was amazing. Jesus changes us for the better. And that's what we need to know. I am changed. We're gonna say that together. I am changed. Good job, you guys. You guys said that so fast. Now, I loved hanging out with all of you and seeing that I am changed because of Jesus. Before you go, let's all bow our heads and close our eyes and pray together to Jesus. Lord, thank you for loving us and changing us when we follow you. Help us to want to do the right thing and love others because of the way you loved us first. In Jesus' name, amen. 
All right, y'all. I will see you guys next week on our Space Voyager. <laughs>